Hey, have you noticed a hash symbol showing up in Angular code examples? If not, you may see it soon. What is the purpose of the hash and when should you use it? The hash symbol was recently added to JavaScript to denote private class properties. Making a class variable private means that the variable can only be accessed within its class. That allows us to encapsulate data we only want to access within a service. But don't we already have a private accessor for our class fields? Yep. Then why do we need the new hash syntax? Let's take a look at the private accessor first, then examine the hash syntax and why it is a better choice in our Angular applications. Here I have a sample application. It has a product template that currently displays a simple text string. The product component and the product service don't yet have any code. Let's run the application. And we see our text string. I'll move the window so VS Code and the browser are side by side. And I'll close Explorer for more space. Let's create a property in our service and attempt to access it from our component. We'll create a property for the URL that we'll use to get our product data and a products property to hold our retrieved array of products. By default, variables we define in a class are public, meaning that any other code in our application can access them. So we should be able to access these variables from our component. Let's create a method to log the URL. Log URL. And in the body, we put console.log URL for the first parameter and this.product URL. Then we'll call that method in the constructor, this dot log URL. Then in the product component, first we inject the service using the new inject function instead of the constructor and add the appropriate import statement. Let's add a constructor. And because by default, any property or method of a class is public, we can change the URL that we defined in the service. For confirmation, we'll call the service method to log the URL. In the browser, I'll open the developer tools. We first see the service lock the URL. Then we see the components changed URL. Well, that's not good. Our component was able to change the URL defined in our service. Going back to the service, let's use the private accessibility keyword. The private accessibility is a feature of TypeScript that marks a class property or method such that it is only accessible from within this class, not any other component or service. We add private in front of the variable name. Now we see an error. Property product URL is private and only accessible within class product service. Great. Going back to the component, let's comment out the line that is causing the issue, and we are back working again. Going back to the service, by adding the TypeScript private accessibility keyword in front of our variable, the variable is only accessible from this service. But going back to the component, what if we try to do something like this? Let's loop through each index in our service. For let i in this.product service, console.log properties i. This code loops through each index in our service. Looking at the browser console, it displays the names of our service properties, including our private property. We can still loop through the class instance and see our private properties. We can also access the object's keys, like this, console.log keys object.keys, and we pass in this.product service. This displays an array of our properties, again, including our private property. Now that we can see the name of the private property, we can use it to update that private property. Even IntelliSense listed our private property. And, oops, our private properties still aren't so private. Why is that? It's because the private keyword is part of TypeScript, not JavaScript. 
That means that the private accessibility is only enforced during development as part of type checking and during compilation. We'll see notifications during development and compilation that we can't access the private property. But when our TypeScript code is transpiled to JavaScript and executed, the private keyword is gone. That means that JavaScript runtime constructs, such as our for in loop or our simple property lookup, can still access a property or method defined with a private keyword. In other words, the component can access the private properties in our service at runtime. Yikes! And that's where the hash feature comes in. Recently, JavaScript added private class properties and methods denoted with a hash. Since the hash is part of JavaScript, it denotes our properties and methods as private during development, compilation, and at runtime. Let's go back to our service and change the private keyword to a hash and remove the space. The hash is a prefix on the variable itself and becomes part of the variable name. So we need to change it when we access it here as well. Going back to the component, we see an error when we access the property. Property product URL does not exist on type product service. Did you mean hash product URL? Well, yes, we did. Let's try changing our lookup to include a hash here as well. But the property is still not found. Property hash product URL does not exist on type product service. It is now correctly hidden from our component. Let's comment out that line. Notice that our loop here finds the products property, but not the private URL property. The object.keys also only finds the products property. Our private URL property is private and hidden, correctly encapsulated in our service. But what about private properties in our component? Let's add a page title property to the product component and display that property in the template. We'll add an H1 element and bind to the page title property. And we see the heading in the browser. Going back to the component, let's add the private keyword. And we see an error. A template cannot access a private property. If we change it to a hash and change the variable name in the template, we see a different error. Private identifiers are not supported. I'll undo this change and remove the hash from the property in the component. Bottom line, use the hash for private members in a component only if you don't plan to access them in a template. Going back to the product service, as Angular developers, we've been using the TypeScript private accessibility keyword to make properties or methods private but that only performs type checking at development and compile time, not runtime. Now we can use the JavaScript private class property syntax denoted with the hash symbol to make private properties and methods truly private. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.